So in this case, we want to determine the reactions at the color. So what we have is a bent rod and support at two points. There's one point at A and another point at B. Now and B is resting on a smooth surface. And <coughs> at point A you have a collar and we want to find the reaction at this point and then we want to find the reaction at this point. So we draw the free body diagram. So for this problem it should be roughly like this. So first, you get the flight force as 100 pounds, and again this point being A. So the distance here is going to be 3 feet. Then you have another point here. That distance is another 3 feet. And at this point, there's an applied couple that's 200 pound feet. So those are the <coughs> applied forces. Now, in addition to this, at point B was resting on a smooth surface, you should have a reaction. And that reaction will be normal to the surface. So there will be <coughs> a displaced force here. It's called this as NB. And the angle between the surface and the force is going to be 90 degrees. <coughs> so that's one reaction. Then we look at the point A. Now what happens here is, if you look at the collar again, see in the collar, this thing is free to slide along this direction. But the, if you look at the perpendicular direction, in this direction there is no movement. So <coughs> there should be a force as a result of reaction perpendicular to this line. So that's one reaction. Then again at this point, this thing can't rotate. So we know before that for a plane problem, you have one force along x, you have another force along y, then you have a couple which goes along the z-axis. So <coughs> at a, a point A, you should have one reaction which is going to be perpendicular to the surface. We call this as N sub A. Again, the angle between the surface and the force is going to be 90 degrees. <coughs> so instead of having x and y, you did a small rotation. When I say you did a small rotation, <coughs> this axis here was taken as x prime and axis along this was taken y prime and angle between those two axes was 90 degrees and when you rotate the axis like this then you could place the reaction which goes along this direction. So that's what you have as an A. Then I said that there is no rotation. So if there is no rotation then you add another reaction and that reaction will be an unknown force M sub A. So <coughs> those two are going to be the forces due to reaction at point A. That's the reaction going up which is N sub A 
than a fixed end moment which is M sub A then you have the reaction at B and that is and B so these are going to be the unknown 